Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV on the social, our interactive social media show where we answer questions sent in by you, our viewers. Joining me again this week, we've got Ryan. You mean again this week? I ain't been on it for months. About three weeks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you alright, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I've got a question. You know Nick's been Monday musings? Yeah. Why is it on a Tuesday? I mate. It's confused. I don't know. He's an idiot, isn't he? <laughs> Money joking. Isn't Tweets it out on a Monday, <laughs> posts it on a Tuesday. Uploads it on a Wednesday. It's like a Craig David song. It is, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good show. It is, very good. Give it a watch. Highly recommend it. Crack on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive straight in. Let's dive straight in. I like it when you say that. Yeah. All right, first one is from uh, Silver Lake Hammers. Um, it says, thoughts on Fernandez looking to join a bigger club? Yeah, I mean, I see them comments come out during the week. I mean... Mm. Stupid comments to make, really. But yeah. did he say them? I don't know. I mean, you always hear it in the papers, you know, or, or so and so wants to move to this club, and they're, they're, I think a lot of the time it's just a press. He's a good maker. player. He's got a lot of prospect, but to, for him to turn yeah. around and say he wants to join a bigger club now, when yeah, he's a, he's had a handful of games for us. Yeah. Unless know. he's fell out with Billich as well. Yeah, well, you don't know what's going on <laughs> behind the scenes, but I mean, as, as well, you don't know whether it's the, play, the press. Sort of blown up. I ain't actually. Of, I didn't actually see him say it. Or no, nah, no. Nah, it was nah. just a comment that was made on a website or something. But yeah. Well, if he wants nah. to go, that's let him saying. go. That's what I've always said. Don't get it. who the player is. If they want to leave, they don't want to play for the club. Then let him go. So next one is from the football hub. <clears throat> uh, it says, if you're still in the relegation zone by January, would you a sack Billich or b sign someone like Joey Barton for the fight? No and no. I don't want to get rid of Billich. I want Sat Billich. No, I wouldn't. And I wouldn't I want wouldn't. Joey Barn at West Ham. No. He's not the sort of player we need. No, he's not conducive no, to a, a harmonious not. dressing room, is he? No. Really? He'll upset the apple cart, as they say. Mm. Oh, just yeah. Look what he done at Rangers. He had a great opportunity at a massive club like Rangers, and mm. he blew, he blew it. it. Yeah, by rare falling out of his teammates. I team want to see him. We're a lot better than Joey Barton. Yeah. Three years ago, maybe, but not yeah. now. And I'm saying, as for the second bit, I don't know why well, well, would even entertain the idea of. Uh, getting rid of Billich. I mean, we're in a bit of a rough patch at the minute, but you know, I think he's the man to get us out of it. Definitely. So, all right, next one <coughs> is from Tommy Ty. Um, I don't know whether it means this season or in general. Uh, who has been our worst signing? Our worst signing? Mm. There's a lot of choose from There's a few, if you can back over the years. I'd probably say Gokan Torre, because it, yeah, it hasn't worked out, but there's a few in there. There's a few that hasn't worked out that we've brought in. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I say a lot of the a lot of the ones we brought in over the summer. You know, they're not getting and the thing a, is as many me, games I, as they thought they would. I or. was quite excited with the signing of Gokhan Torre because I've mm. seen him play a couple of times and he and he was a Billich signing. Yeah. Cause Billich wanted him and it just hasn't worked out. He, he ain't yeah. fit enough. He just, he just can't cut it. I mean, do you think if 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 he sort of gets gets fitter, it might come more. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, it's, it's a tough one because I just don't think he's going to get enough game time. If we mm. if we was in Europe and yeah. he didn't get injured, then maybe he'd have a few more games. But yeah, he, it's, there's other players as well that we've signed that haven't worked out. Well, I mean, this is what we've said on previous like, on post match pint and stuff like that. Those players were signed with Europe in mind, yeah. weren't they? But obviously, we got knocked out, and now we're trying to shoot all them into uh, Premier League squad as well. Team, yeah. yeah. So we've got the answer, are you? Yeah, okay. for me. What about you? Uh, I don't know. Caleri hasn't really worked out, has it? Well, apparently he's uh, it's been terminated. He's loan deal now. Mm. He's not even in the country, so yeah, yeah, he's another one that ain't worked That's, out. Yeah, I'd say probably that one uh, is the good shout. Yeah. Right, next one is from Michael Cottrell. Um, he said, "What would you say was worse, the stadium move or the transfers we made this summer?" Uh, well, I mean, I'd say the transfers because. Yeah. But I mean, the transfers you can rectify in the next transfer window, can't you? you yeah, can. uh, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's what goes on on the pitch, isn't it? Mm. Let's be honest. Results is what matter. Mm. Don't matter about the stadium. It's the results on the pitch, and yeah, if we're obviously in a bad run of form at the moment, playing bad. Mm. Been unlucky in a few games. Tottenham last week, we was unlucky, but. Do you know what it is? It there's games where we have played well, but we've only played well for like. 20 minutes, half hour. Yeah, I'd say, I'd, for me, I'd say the signings. Yeah. But I mean, the, the signings can be 
easily rectified in, yeah. in the transfer. I mean, the stadium, I know the thing is the stadium, we're there now, we can't go back, we're there, we've, we've got to get on with it with the stadium, haven't we? Yeah. Really, so, yeah, quite like the, the signings, yeah. Um, this one's from Cameron Floors. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a bit of a dilemma one, this one. Uh, would you switch the two Man United home games last season, meaning you would win the FA Cup but lose the final bowling game? No. Nah. If you would have asked me this question before them two games, I would have probably said, yeah, the FA Cup. Mm. But after being there that night at the bowling, mm. like you get a shot at the FA Cup every season. Yeah. We only had one shot to win that last ever game yeah. at the bowling. And you'll never, ever mm. take that away from us, that memory of that yeah. night. And... Look, we all want to win the FA Cup. I'd mm. love to win the FA Cup. And like I said, it's there every season to yeah. win. But no, nah, I, I wouldn't swap it for that night. Yeah, that night was just... You couldn't leave the... Gr it, the it wasn't even a night, it's the day, loss. the whole day. Yeah. The whole day and night, all, build being, up all and being together, having a laugh and a joke, a few beers. Mm. What You know, before the game, after the game, during the game. It just had everything. Yeah. And you can't... You'd never get that back. You can't mm. get that that moment every season. No, and it's, it's there in the and we, had, we only had one shot. For like Eminem now, eight miles. <laughs> no, but we only had one chance to win that game. Yeah. You know? And we did it. Yeah. You can't leave you, your old grand on a loss, can you? No. Nah. So. But like I said, the FA Cup's there every year. Yeah. I say as much I mean, as I, I want to... won it for 30 odd years. So yeah, so another year ain't going to matter, is it? Another 30 years ain't going to matter. <laughs> nah, so I, I, I desperately want to see us win the FA Cup. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't have swapped it, no. no. Um, this one's from Gavin O'Flynn at Gavlar. 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 <laughs> Um, it says, if the, that story of the um, Qatar buying West Ham was true, could they buy the Olympic Stadium from the LLDC? Or the London Stadium? Yeah, I suppose they could, but they have to pay a lot, a lot of yeah. money for it. I say, if, if... And why would they? Why would they want to own it? Yeah, well, it? they could do what they wanted with it then, couldn't they? Yeah, they'd probably knock it, it down yeah. and develop it, but... Mm. Yeah, they could probably afford to, but it would cost them a few yeah. hundred million. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably, like say, well, we spent, what's it been spent on that Olympic London Stadium? 300, 400 million? 750. 750 million. Yeah. So you're probably going to they're going to want their own that back plus a little bit of yeah. interest. So you're probably looking near enough billion pounds. Sort of, yeah, upwards of a billion. I'd rather them yeah. invest that in the team. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'd be, it'd be nice if we owned the ground, but like you say, it's going to have to be a ridiculous amount of money yeah. to, to buy it. I mean, if they've got a spare billion pound round in, yeah, well, hanging yeah. about, you know. <laughs> More than yeah, welcome to spend we're, we're it. We're open to offers. Yeah. <laughs> we need a sponsor on here. <laughs> um, this one's from Man Like Lanzini. Uh, it says, with a strong transfer window in January, can we have a good second half of the season? Yeah, of course we can. Yeah. Depends who we bring in, though. I mean, we need to strengthen the right back. Yeah. We need to strengthen up front, definitely. We, mm. we ain't A striker hasn't scored a goal. It's December. Mm. Yeah, I, I, see, I don't want. I, I think nearly December. I mean, it's it's embarrassing that none of our strikers have scored. Yeah. So we definitely need a striker right back as well. Uh, but we don't. We, we've got to do the the business early in the window. We don't want to be doing like a panic buy at the end of the window. Yeah, and, and plus, I think for, I think the owners have to make a statement. They've got mm. to go out in January and and they've got to get back on the fans' side. Mm. So it wouldn't surprise me if we 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 spent a bit of money in January. Mm. I mean, the thing is, we're saying strike. We've been saying for like the last three years that we need a, a top top striker. And you don't even need it. Like, it's, look, you don't even need a top top striker at the moment of 30, 40 million pounds. You can go and pick. You need a goal scorer. Mm. And I know I see a lot of thing the other day about Jermaine Defoe. And listen, I'll take Jermaine Defoe back because he's a goal scorer. Yeah. And he's done it in a relegation battle before. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, he knows. Uh, Knows what it's all and, about, and he? Yeah, I mean a right back as well. I mean I've seen um Ivanovic has been linked from Chelsea. He's an experienced right back. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's what we need, experienced right back. Yeah. You know. We definitely need strength and I'd like to see a, and well, get rid of three or four and bring him Yeah. Well, like you say, four or five uh, decent it was players. Ours, ours, ours going back Just to January, shake up the so. dressing room a bit as well. Yeah. Yeah, what's well, that? I think Zaza's Zaza's Zaza going back and in January. Kevin Nolan and, and Noble are training. Uh, Nolan are training with the club at the moment. Yeah. The way our strikers at the moment, I'd give I'd give fucking well, Colton Cole, Cole, yeah. Cole a monthly contract. Yeah, he's, he's training. He's back training, isn't he? That's how he's getting. I think so. I'm just checking. If he's had more him. comebacks than Dirty Den Cole. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just seeing if we've got any more questions that have come in. Doesn't look like it. 
That's it for Twitter, yeah? That's it for the Twitter one. We'll be doing the uh, Facebook one as well, won't we? So Let's go. Yeah. Oh, we're doing it. Yeah. No, do it now. Go on. Do you want to do it now? Yeah, fine. Okay, then we'll, we'll do the. Uh, oh, yeah, no, do it, do it at half time. All oh, right. <laughs> right, well, thanks for coming on, mate. Cheers, mate. And again. I'll be back in a little while. Yeah, we'll be back <laughs> doing the Facebook one in a bit. So, thanks for joining us, everyone, and uh, thanks for everyone who took the time to send in a question. Um, sorry if we missed any. Um, I say sometimes if, if the hashtag's not on there, it's quite hard to. It's quite hard to find it. Look into your eyes. I say, if, if we have missed a question, I do apologise. Um, we'll do our best next time to answer it. Um, don't forget to check out Nick's Monday Musings next Tuesday. <laughs> 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 it's well worth a watch, though, it? It's a good show. Yeah. Well worth a watch. Um, don't forget to check out the Facebook show a bit later on that we'll be filming, won't we, after the menu game. So uh, thanks for joining us. Oh, don't forget to check out the... Uh, the online store either. The, li the links will be going up uh, underneath this. In the comments section, let us know your thoughts on any of the uh, questions we've answered today. And uh, one thing left to say, mate. Go on then. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons.